vlog it is august 14th happy monday it is currently 9 35 a.m as you can see i'm getting ready to head out um to go with my grandmother she wants to take her dale laptop computer to the computer shop so it can get fixed because it's basically broken um long story short the back of the laptop has been broken not into pieces but it's damaged and um it's her computer actually has been damaged for a while now it just got worse over time so we're gonna see if it can be fixed before she has to buy a new one i'm hoping she doesn't have to buy a new one because some stuff honestly can be fixed it doesn't have to you know what i mean get you know bought as a brand new computer so as y'all can see i did something different to my hair well not really when i first got my locks done they were in this updo style i got tired of wearing it down so as i have stressed enough to y'all i really want to take these down but i'm trying to keep it up just a little bit longer so i was like maybe i'll just switch it up and put it in this high ponytail but yeah um i'm really liking this lighting i'm sorry if i keep looking at the camera <laughs> it actually makes my skin look good don't mind the doors in the background. That's the laundry room doors. We're going to get that fixed as well. It's a lot of home stuff we got to do. Um, it just simply, the doors came off the track. That's pretty much it. So, yeah, I'm about to get ready and go. I already ate breakfast. I didn't film that because I'm pretty sure y'all tired of me showing y'all the same stuff, the same food. So, I didn't want to, like, do that again on here. So, <laughs> I just had um, three mini pancakes two turkey sausage links and a hash brown and a cup of orange juice and a protein shake. That was it. That's all I had this morning. I did not work out. Today is rest day. I didn't walk my dog yet. I am going to walk him later. Um, tomorrow I am going to work out. I'm going to do my full body and then I'll be done for the week until this upcoming weekend. Well, not for the week, but I'll be done with last week's workout. Let me say that. But this is a whole new week. And, I don't know, today, it just seems like I'm glowing, I'm happy, I guess, because school starts next week, so I'm excited. And, um, yeah, so, hoping and praying for new positive attitude and beginnings this week, because, as I have told y'all in the last um, vlog, I was really not in the spirit, not in a good mood, so... Trying to change that for this semester. I mean, not this semester. I'm trying to change that for this week. So, um, yeah. I will check back in with y'all once I get in the car or once we get inside of the computer store. Also, today I have a study session again with my um, nursing student friend. This time, I'm going to remember to record it so y'all can just see the, some of the stuff that we're talking about and going over and then i also have to like make a new quizlet so yeah today is just pretty much like chill i mean i do gotta go on the little errands i told y'all about but yeah just chill study um i may do a little bit of cleaning today because i do need to vacuum my rug and stuff like that and then that's pretty much it um i may even start cleaning my room today because i definitely want to um clean, clean my room with me um vlog with y'all so yeah, I'm just trying to come up with new content ideas for the week because it's really not much that I'm going to be doing besides attending orientation. That's later on this week. And then me getting school supplies, you know, just stuff like that. So let me stop rambling as usual and I'll check back in with y'all once I get to the computer store. Hey you guys, okay so I'm back home now from the computer store. I'm sorry I didn't feel me in there because it was such a small store and it was only one guy in there talking to my grandma and I just, I don't know, like I told y'all before, I'm still camera shy so I just didn't feel comfortable filming in his store and I don't want him questioning me like what are you doing, why are you filming my store so yeah. <laughs> Now, after that, um, as y'all saw, I had asked my grandma, can we stop by Dunkin' because I wanted some coffee. I haven't had coffee in, like, almost four days, which is good because remember I told y'all that I wanted to be on a, you know, dairy-free, caffeine-free type of diet, not 
for a long time, but like, you know, just a couple of days to give my stomach a break. And so quite naturally when I had the um, butter pecan iced coffee from Dunkin', which is one of my favorites, it was so good. Whoever made it, it was like on point. It wasn't overly sweet. It wasn't bitter. Like it was just perfect. So then after that, we came back home. Um, I'm about to currently study um, the second study guide that I mentioned to you guys earlier. But before I do that, I wanted to have y'all take a look at the classes that I'm taking um, starting next week in nursing school. Okay, so these are the classes that I have to take this current fall semester. So you see it's uh, pathology or pathophysiology, excuse me, fundamentals of nursing, health assessment, theology, and professional nursing in seminar. And in total, that is 15 credit hours. So yeah, I have to take all of these classes in my first semester. Um, what I did find out from my nurse's student friend he said that we won't be taking all of these classes at once thank god because <laughs> i did have anxiety on that he said they'll be split up between eight weeks so the first eight weeks i think we take three classes and then the second eighth week we take the rest i don't know how they're going to split it up but yeah we're not taking them all at once like next week they're going to be breaking apart between between they're going to be breaking apart between the first eight weeks of the semester so yeah um so far the only one that I've been reviewing is the pathophysiology the other courses I don't know you know what we're going to be learning in those yet he didn't really go over those with me because I guess they they aren't that difficult and not even just that the reason I say it's not that difficult because he told me that although I haven't taken it myself, so I really don't know what's difficult and what's not yet until I take it myself. But um, he also can give me the materials of the other classes because um, they told me, and by they, the cohort ahead of me, because remember, um, they told us that we're going to have new professors because the professors that they've taken um, last year in the fall, they're gone, most of them. So they got all new teachers which is you know like oh okay <laughs> um but it's the material i'm sure it's still going to be the same so it's just the professor's teaching style i'm sure will be different um yeah so he only shared with me his um uh, pathology notes so that's what i've been reviewing everything else i have no idea you know, what I'm going to be going over, but we'll find out next week once we get the syllabus and all that other good stuff. But yes, this is finally my class schedule that I've been meaning to show y'all like two vlogs ago, so I apologize. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you have any, once again, advice, tips on these classes here, on what I should expect, how I should study, et cetera, et cetera, please link that down below. And that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to, like I say, email them real quick and then I'll show you guys how I study and how I make my quiz lists. Hold on, let me put y'all on to this before I even begin showing y'all how I study. This popcorn is so freaking good. Like I've been eating this for like almost two months. <laughs> like that's how good it is i don't buy no other type of popcorn but this if it ain't this brand i don't want it it's called ng's and you can get it from walmart target walgreens like they have these everywhere and it comes in i know three different flavors at least the ones that i've seen they have this one which is the one i always buy and then they have another one that's chocolate, cheddar, you know, y'all just Google it. Y'all see what I'm saying. This here I love. I'm usually not a Walmart fan because I tried it in the past and I never liked them. But this flavor I actually like, the chocolate chip cookie dough. It's a bit bland, but I feel like, you know, in my opinion, it could really be stomach because I usually drink water like right behind it. But it's pretty good. And here was the nutrition facts of the one bar. Okay, you guys, so I just wanted to show you real quick. This is what the study guide exam one for pathophysiology is looking like. This was from last fall semester from my, once again, nursing student friend who sent me um, his study guide from last fall 
when he was a junior. So this is the one that I mentioned in my previous vlog that I had got a 74 on as a practice exam. And um, this is some of the terms that was on the study guide that he tested me on. Some of this stuff was like a big review for me because I have already learned it from uh, microbiology, some anatomy stuff. And some of them was just like, you know, just medical terms from medical terminology. So I had already got like an idea that the stuff from my prerequisites, I was a pre-nursing student. So if you're a pre-nursing student watching my vlogs, pay close attention and study hard in your pre-nursing classes because it's definitely going to come back. As you guys can see here, like some of this stuff is... Some of this stuff was mentioned before in pre-nursing. So now this is the Quizlet that I had made of the study guide. One, I had created these flashcards on my own. I didn't, you know, use other people's flashcards, which I still do when I review, but I wanted to do something different semester and make my own. And it was actually fun to do. I added, as you guys can see, illustrations, like for example, hemostasis the body's operating normal for that i had used this example picture it looks pretty much it looks a bit complicated but for me i was able to understand it it kind of reminds me of a concept map so yeah and then here goes another one syndrome and for the term syndrome i had used this example of a female child who has down syndrome you know so just stuff like this that'll help me you know, remember, of course, I'm going to go back to this and review this all over again. Um, but today's focus, I want to start making quiz lists for the study guide to exam. And I'm going to show you guys that next. So these are the terms that's on study guide number two. I'm about to Google these terms up. Well, before I Google them, I'm going to go to my textbook and read the textbook definition first. That's typically how I study i will go to the book first read a little bit um look at the examples the illustrations write it down and then i go on google and i compare it and put it together in my own words that's how i study then once i do all of that i um create flashcards and go over that and then once i'm done with that <laughs> i like to watch youtube videos as the last um study tool so I do that, then I rewrite out my notes. So it sounds like it's a lot, but that's just, that's what got me here to nursing school. That's what I did through all my pre-nursing classes. And I mean, you know, it helped me do what helps you and, you know, stick to it. But yeah, these are the terms. So I'm about to write them down, <clears throat> excuse me, write them down in my notebook, look them up in the book, write the page numbers down. Some of these words I do remember from my pre-nursing courses, like anti-direct hormone and dehydration, sodium controls, like some of this stuff, acid basic balance controls. Some of this stuff I do remember from chemistry and anatomy once again. So, like I said, this stuff definitely is going to come back for sure. You just have to now remember what this is and why is it important and how can you use it and apply it to a patient so it's about to be a little bit of challenging but i can do it you can do it anything is possible Okay, you guys, sorry if my handwriting looks sloppy, but this is just kind of an idea of how I write down my um, notes. So, for example, peristhesia, if I pronounce that right, don't come for me. I'm still learning how to pronounce some of these terms. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's the um, term that we're going to go over. So, I wrote down a definition, and peristhesia is a burning sensation 
or prickling that is felt in the hands, arms, legs, or feet, but can happen in other parts of the body. So for example, I don't know if you guys, well, most people, including myself, if you ever have that feeling like your hand or your arm or your feet is falling asleep, like currently right now, I've been sitting in my chair for a while at the table and my right foot became numb. So as I started moving it around to get the blood flow back going, it started tingling, prickling. So that's basically what paresthesia means. And then over here, also when I write down my terms, I like to break them apart. So par means abnormal. Esthesia means a cessation of something. So whenever I come across these um, prefixes or suffixes, I would have remembered that this is what it means. Okay, so that's also very helpful. So yeah, that's how I do my notes. And then usually a day or two after letting the information sink in my head, I like to go back and rewrite them and highlight. So, you know, just good after recalling. That's what really, you know, helps. afternoon vlog it is august 16th 1 23 p.m so currently right now i'm about to get ready and go back to my um college campus so i can make a payment in order for me to enroll in my classes and then um after that on the agenda i am going to show y'all how i meal prep how i uh, apply my press on nails again and also um do a little bit of cleaning up today and walk my dog so, um, I don't think I vlogged yesterday as much. Yesterday, I was just pretty much relaxing and studying. But today, we are out and about. So, I'm going to show y'all around my campus a little bit. I feel like I did that in my um, previous vlogs months ago. But I'm going to show y'all again. <laughs> so, um, I'll check back in with y'all when I get on the inside the car or when I'm at my university. Oh, yeah. I also want to mention to y'all that... I had did another study session with my nursing friend student early this morning, um, like around 9 a.m. He gave me the second exam practice study guide, and I did, once again, um, pretty good. He said I did pretty good. I had the same score from the exam one practice exam, which was so funny, a 74. Remember, at my school, um, 74 is not passing. The minimum passing grade that you can have is a 78, so I was, um, what, four or five points behind. But it was still good, though, for somebody who has never taken patho before. Like, this is all new to me, and he has not given me time to, like, <laughs> review. Like, we've been doing this for, like, maybe a week now, so he'll give me, like, two days to study, then he'll test me. Like, it is 50 questions. So... Um, it's pretty good in terms of like I'm able to at least be in the 70s with my score because it could have been worse. Um, so I'm, I wanted to share that with y'all. Um, that's what I did this morning. I didn't vlog it because I was kind of like trying to rush because my grandma should be pulling up in a few minutes to pick me up. But um, yeah, that's what I did this morning. So uh, like I said, I'm really trying to be ahead of the game trying to get familiarized with these terms and stuff so when i go to class on monday this upcoming monday i won't be you know lost or confused in the classroom so of course i appreciate him for helping me and he was like he gonna send me some other study guides and his notes he sent me a couple of videos from simple nursing as well so i'm gonna watch um watch one of them it's like a 20 minute video i'm gonna watch it when i come back home from my school but yeah so i want to make sure i mention it i could have waited till i got back home to tell y'all that but i just couldn't resist it was um i'm sorry if i keep moving my phone <laughs> i don't have my tripod 
but uh yeah so once again i will talk to y'all when i get to the campus okay y'all i'm back home why didn't nobody tell me nursing school is so expensive like bro <laughs> do y'all see these prices some of y'all may think i'm dramatic but like look at all of this and this is the total almost 700 dollars. like and we need all these books it's just four books but like oh my gosh this is expensive and i know some of y'all gonna say well you picked out the new books the reason why I'm picking out new books is because I have somebody that's paying for me. I mean, I could have got used, but sometimes I don't like used books because they can be damaged or it just don't be the right book. Like, I just, I don't know. Me, personally, I always buy my books new so I can keep them and I can write in it and stuff like that. Because I like to highlight and write in my books and make notes. And once again, I'm not paying for it, so why not? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I want to show y'all these prices like sweetie what and these are just the books let me show y'all the tuition honey this right here is the cost of my tuition nine thousand nine hundred sixteen dollars almost ten thousand and this is for 15 credit hours full time like yo <laughs> i know y'all think i'm crazy um, not crazy, but like, you know, you think I'm tripping, but I'm just not used to these prices. That's why I'm so thankful. Praise be God. I'm very blessed that I have, you know, people who can pay for me to get this degree. And I did occasionally took out some loans since I've been a pre nursing student and now a current nursing student. So y'all, this is crazy. <laughs> like, whoo. So I just wanted to show y'all like what my fees and costs is looking like like this is crazy um i know i have to take the health insurance off which is like 630 something dollars so that's gonna lower my tuition a little bit but it's still nine thousand something dollars like college is expensive nursing is expensive like i mean this is what i want to do this is my profession but like wow like did nobody mention it to me how expensive it's gonna be I mean, I'm not complaining too much because, again, I have somebody that's paying for me. But even if I didn't, like, I would have to work, like, three jobs. So, to share with y'all my expenses, like, whew, child. Baby, baby. Okay, so we're looking at next week, Monday. So, as you can see, I have um, my classes in order. And, um me going to the gym and stuff so let's start with monday august 21st so my first class is fundamentals at 9 a.m to 10 50. then after that i have a break in between from 11 to 12 and then i go to pathology and that's at 1 p.m to 2 20 p.m and then after that i decide to have my library session from 3 to 6 p.m. And then that's pretty much it what I have for Monday. Then Tuesday, Tuesday, I have health assessment from 8 a.m. to 10 50 a.m. So, so that's my earliest class. And then on Tuesday, I have my health assessment class, which is 8 a.m. to 10 50 a.m. And that's my earliest class through this whole um, fall semester is health assessment. And right after health assessment at oh right after right after health assessment at two p.m. to three fifty p.m. we have theory and professional nursing, and then after that at four twenty p.m. to seven twenty p.m. I have another study library session, and then that's it for Tuesday. And then Wednesday, same thing as Monday. Uh, fundamentals 9 a.m. to 10 50 and then right after that I have seminar from 11 a.m. to 11 50 a.m. 
And then after that, I have pathology from 1 p.m. to 2.20 p.m. Then after that, I go to my work study job, my office job. And that's from 2.30 to 5. So, yeah, your girl going to be booked and busy. And then Thursdays and Fridays, I don't have classes, but I do have work study. From, um, oh, wrong button. Yeah, Thursdays and Fridays, I don't have classes, but I do go to work study from 9 to 1. And then after that, I go to the library for my study session, 1.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Then after that, oh, I don't have nothing after that. And then Friday, I don't have classes, but I do have work study from 9 to 3. And then I go to Planet Fitness to do my upper body workout at 4. And then Saturdays, since I do lower body at Planet Fitness from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m., and then Sunday, Sundays, I go to play the fitness to do my full body workout at 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. And then that's it, y'all. So busy, 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 busy. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much it. Y'all get an idea of, you know, how this semester is going to go. My first semester of being an RN student. Already booking busy. Um, I mean, I'm kind of used to it because I was, like, very booking busy anyway with work and school and stuff. Gym. While I was a pre-nursery student, this is just a bit more of a challenge since I'm taking five classes at once and new classes at that, like classes I've never taken before. And yeah, it's just a new era, new journey. Of course, I'm going to vlog all this. I'm going to try to vlog as much as I can. But you know, if I become MIA, which I'm not going to lie, I may be, I may be on ghost mode for a little bit, but just know it's because I'm working very hard at school. I'm trying to keep my grades up. I mean, y'all know. So that's why, as y'all can see, the reason why that I didn't want to start my work study job today because I wanted a couple more days to rest because I have a very busy uh, first start of semester. It's our next week. Oh, I forgot to also tell you guys, I have finally my orientation date. So orientation is this Friday. I was right about that. I have to be there at 10 a.m. and it ends at 12. So um, I have to go back to my school campus to meet um, the person who's the director of our um, nursing department. She's hosting the orientation and um, yeah. I'm going to see some of my classmates that was in my previous um, classes. And it's going to be nice. We all haven't seen each other um, since May. So it's going to be nice to catch up, see how their summer was and things like that. Um, some of them are seniors. Some of them are juniors like me. So like I said, I pretty much know everybody <laughs> that's outside of my cohort and in my cohort. So, um, yeah. Good morning vlog, it's the next day. It's 9.31 a.m. Currently right now, I am going over the practice patho first exam that my, um, once again, I keep referring back to the same student who has been helping me review. This is his practice exam that he had tested me on um, last week. And I'm just going over the ones that I had got incorrect and I am putting them on these Quizlet flashcards that I've already created. So yeah, I am putting the questions that I got incorrect on the practice exam onto the Quizlet study guide that I had created for myself. So I had made these as my own. And so the ones that I had got incorrect, I'm adding them onto here. Sorry, y'all see me looking crazy with my bonnet on. At this point, y'all should be used to me wearing my bonnet, but I'm sorry that I didn't get, you know, all prepared just woke up and had made me some high protein banana nut oatmeal my favorite um some at-home starbucks coffee caramel macchiato and then after that i talked to my grandma for a few minutes and tell me why she had me insert her insulin shot on her right yeah her right arm i was a little nervous but um i guess she just wanted to see if i knew how to do it or something i don't know she asked me she was like can you give me an insulin shot you know, with the syringe needle, the little EpiPen. And I was like, yeah, I mean, it really was my first time doing it because the last time I did it on, on the side of her stomach, but this time I did it on her arm. And I'm like, I'm not even in school yet. You asked me to do this. Um, 
but it was a good teaching practice moment and I did it to her. She said I did correct. I had to, of course, make sure it was on the correct dialage. For her, she has to use 10 units of insulin. So I had, you know, of course, count up the numbers, make sure it was on the correct dial. And then I had to insert, insert it, of course, um, into her right arm, not into the muscle, but um, like the skin part of her arm. And um, I had to pay attention to the dial to make sure that it goes all the way down to zero. And once it hits zero, then that tells us that she has the correct amount of insulin inside of her system. And so, yeah. And of course, before I did all of that, inserted the um, EpiPen, I used a alcohol swab to swab the area. I'm like, I, I, I haven't even <laughs> been to clinicals or anything yet. So, um, and I wasn't even nervous, surprisingly. See, I don't mind giving people shots. It's when the person gives me a shot. That's when I have an issue because I never like shots at all. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm like, girl. I'm not even a nurse yet. You asking me to do this for you. <laughs> I'm still a student. But to her, she said I did a good job. So practice makes perfect. But yeah, um, I'm not going to keep y'all too long. I'm just going over the uh, questions I got incorrect on both exams, practice exams. And then after that, I'm going to um, get ready to leave the house. My... Grandmother, I think, is going to go pick up her laptop from the computer store that we went to on Monday. Now, I'm going to bring my laptop in. I mean, as y'all can see, I just showed y'all my laptop is working fine. It works when it wants to work. Um, But, yeah, I had to update it. So, I guess that could be the problem because my computer on its own, it updated itself and did a diagnostics. I guess just to see if it had any other problems. But the report was good. But I'm still going to have the computer guy to take a look at my computer um, more specifically, the charging port, because I feel like something inside might have got damaged or bumped or something. I don't know, because remember, I think I told you guys, me being an idiot when I went to say one, um, I had my laptop in my suitcase, so, you know, the um, people at the airport, the employees, sometimes they'll bump your shit around, throw your suitcase, and me being an idiot, I forgot to take it out the suitcase to bring it on the plane. So, um, I feel like that is the reason why my computer's been acting up, because before I went out of town, it was 100% fine, so I'm just going to have them take a look at it and see what's what. Um, I know my charger isn't working, but that's been like that since my spring semester, so I, I've always had a shortage of my charger cord, but it's the laptop itself that's giving the issue, and of course, it will happen when I'm about to start school in five days, like... <laughs> Really, like, I need my laptop. Thankfully, my grandma doesn't let me borrow her charger, but eventually I have to buy my own because we have the same computer, literally the same laptop. So I'm like, when you think you got everything situated together, there's some more problems coming up. And I need my computer. Like, I need it not just for homework and assignments, but I need it in the classroom. Like, I just need my laptop. And I just don't like using other people's stuff. You feel me? So... But yeah, that's pretty much it. So let me stop rambling and finish studying so I can um, get ready so we can go out. And then I'll check back in with y'all when I get in the car. It's not there. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. I'm currently walking on my campus. I have my orientation at 10 o'clock. It's almost 9.45. I'm sorry if I'm breathing heavy because I'm like trying to hurry up. I had a little fiasco going on this morning. I'll tell y'all about that later. But um, I guess I'll take back in with y'all when I get inside the library because that's where we have to meet at. Hey, you guys, so I'm back, obviously. Um, the orientation went really good. I met a lot of people that was in my cohort. Well, not met, it's mainly people who I had my pre-nursing classes with. So it's literally the same group. So we were very happy to see each other again, congratulating each other from getting into the program. And then I saw some of the seniors 
that you know that I'm cool with and friends with so they were introducing me to the staff and other classmates like it was just so nice and lovely literally and that's what I like about it that I know people you know that's already in the program and then people who are in my cohort at that so you know we were all hugging each other smiling like it was just it was so wonderful and that's how it's supposed to be like I said nursing is nothing but one big happy family it really is but anywho, they also gave us a bag of goodies, so I'm going to show you all that once I get home. I'm currently waiting for my grandmother to pick me up because she just got off of work. And then after that, I'm going to go to American Best to pick up my eyeglasses because they're ready. They called me yesterday and told me that they were ready, but it was like towards the evening time. And I didn't feel like going outside, so <laughs> since I'm already out and it's just down the street from my school, I'm going to go ahead and pick them up so then I can have them for class on Monday because my Monday on Monday starts at 9 a.m. And so I want to make sure I have my glasses so I can be able to see the lectures and stuff. So far, the nursing staff, um, the instructors, they seem very nice, um, good personalities and stuff like that. I'm not going to lie, they low-key kind of like, <laughs> I told my classmates they were laughing, but I was being serious. Like, they kind of like scared me a little bit because they were just saying like, you know, this is the professional phase, which it is. And they was like, take this seriously. This is not, you know, a game. You're gonna have to make sacrifices. If you work in a bunch of hours at work, you gonna, you may have to, you know, either quit your job or decrease your hours. And like me, for example, remember I told you all that I quit my uh, security job recently. And you know, you, of course they was upset about it and things like that to the point where they didn't even pay me my last check. But we are gonna talk about that later. Um, but I mean, I look at it as, it as I have to do this for me. This is my education. This is what I want to pursue. So I don't know shade to anybody, but I didn't go to school to be a security guard. Okay. Yeah, I needed the money, but money is not always everything. So I need my education so I can get my RN license. So yeah. Um, so they were just giving us advice, you know, just trying to prepare us of what we're getting ourselves into. And, um, yeah. Then, of course, I met the secretary. The department chair, for some reason, wasn't here today. But I met the secretary of the department. She was really cool and sweet. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so, we will see how this goes. The journey officially begins on Monday. And, of course, I'm going to um, start that out with a whole brand new vlog starting Monday of um, my first week of nursing school so y'all get to see everything on that um, but I'm probably going in this vlog nine, nine times out of ten either today or tomorrow so I can get started on filming the new one um, like I said I'm trying to be still consistent with YouTube but I, like I told y'all before don't be surprised if I don't update not update don't be surprised if I don't upload as often just know that it's because I'm in school. Like like she said, like the professor said, you gotta have a sacrifice. And if that means I gotta put down YouTube for a little minute, then I'm gonna have to do that. But just know, I ain't gonna forget about y'all, I promise. But right now we being consistent. So yeah, I'll check back in with y'all when I'm at America, because best getting my glasses or when I'm at home. Okay, you guys, I am back home. I just want to go through the supplies that they gave us inside of our um, bag. So at the orientation, these are the supplies that they have that we are required to use, of course, in class and in clinicals when we are seeing the patients. So we got some Band-Aids. We got some alcohol wipes, um, some first aid kit guide, um, some hand sanitizers, some towelettes, some hand sanitizer again over here. We have the blood pressure cuff and then our very first stethoscope. So this is what our school wants to use. They don't want us to use those fancy um, Lipton. I think that's how you pronounce it. Those, y'all know what I'm talking about, those stethoscopes. Our school will want us to use this brand because this is what's provided from them. So, you know, schools, some schools got rules. You got to go with they, you know, say. So they gave us these and they want us to use these at clinicals. So, but yeah, I'm just excited. It's my very first stethoscope. So this is honestly going to be very iconic for me. So 
Yep. Um, yeah, so these are the little items. And then they gave us a handbook. Let me actually pour that out one second. Oh, yeah, and this is the bag that they gave us. It's the same thing on the other side. They gave us this bag. This is where all the supplies had came inside of. They also gave us more hand sanitizer. So we have like a lot of this. And this is just the handbook and some of the stuff that we're going to be going over our first semester that they gave us at orientation, what to expect, you know, the policy, you know, all that good stuff. So definitely going to um, take a look at that. And then this is what uh, we had went over today in the orientation. So we went over the welcome speech, the introduction to the professors, the handbook. Um, they talked about uh, what to expect in the case studies, what textbooks we need, how to be professional as a RN and student nurse, time management skills, you know, all that stuff. And then Castle Ranch, um, the dress code, the uniforms, you know, just all the good stuff. So this was all the stuff that they talked about um, while we were there. It was from 10 a.m. to 12. They kind of went a little bit over 12, but it was okay. Can y'all see me with my new glasses? Well, one of them. <laughs> I have a black pair that's the same style that's in my um eyeglass case. But yeah, your girl got her glasses looking all cute and fashionable. Finally, I can see. <laughs> but um, yeah, so today was really nice and fun. It was great to see, you know, my classmates that I had took pre-nursing classes with. And then it was cool to meet the seniors. And some of the seniors, like I told y'all, I already know them, so... Because they took some pre-nursing classes with me, too. So, it was nice to see everybody. We all hugged and laughed and smiled. Like, it was really a good moment. And that's what nursing is all about. It's nothing but a big, happy family. Well, to some degree. But I looked out because, you know, I like everybody and everybody like me. So, <laughs> but yeah. So, anywho, I'm not going to keep y'all long because I'm hungry. I have not eaten since 7 o'clock this morning. So, I'm going to eat that leftover catfish that I had last night. I just wanted to get on here and show y'all the stuff that I got from orientation, what we went over. So it's very exciting. Um, before orientation, I was really nervous. I was, I ain't gonna lie, I had fears about going into this program. But, you know, after meeting everybody and seeing everybody, you know, it made me feel more confident in that, you know, I could do this. I made it this far and I'm not going to give up. I didn't give up when I was in pre-nursing and now I'm not going to give up while I'm in, um, are in school so the only thing that I am very anxious and nervous about is the HESI because they kept mentioning the HESI a lot that we must pass it because we don't take our HESI until December so luckily we got like about two to three months to study and review but yeah um good thing that the seniors said they're gonna help us like they're gonna give us the resources that they used to pass there so yeah it's a lot y'all <laughs> But, I mean, once I get the hang of how nursing school goes, I feel like I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be okay um, once I get my foot in and see how it goes. I just have to learn um, time management, and I'm not really too worried about sacrificing because they kept mentioning the word sacrifice a lot. That is a huge sacrifice, and it is. Like I told the seniors, I mean, they laughed at me, you know, not laugh at me, like trying to embarrass me, but they understood what I was saying, that nursing school is like marriage. Like, <laughs> it's a long years commitment like you're really committed to this like this is not a joke you have to really sit down take the time to study and the professors say we should study at least four to six hours and that's what i do anyway at home like remember i told y'all i had already started um reviewing the pathology stuff and it literally took me like i think four or five hours to like finish studying like just to read the material break down the words like it really took time and some stuff i had to keep going back to you know see why I wasn't understanding it so it's it's a really a lot into this it is um and that's just one class like I can only imagine how it's gonna be with fundamentals and health assessment and um what other class I got oh theories of professional nursing like you know it's a lot so um yeah I don't have my books yet but I do plan to order them next week once I get my voucher um to order them with um uh, but yeah that's pretty much it like you know that happened today so like i said it's exciting it really is it's still shocking like when i was sitting there through the orientation like 
I kept thinking to myself, like, this cannot be real. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I felt like I was in a twilight zone. Like, am I really sitting here? Like, is this really happening? Am I dreaming? Like, I really made it to nursing school. Like, it's crazy. That's why I'm going to keep emphasizing this. Like, and I got emotional. I'm not going to lie. Like, I was almost crying. Like, I may be dramatic, but, like, for me, this was, like, a huge milestone. And this is only beginning. Like, I have many other goals. That, like, I'm trying to strive to the top okay as i should so yeah let me stop talking blabbling i didn't record me walking my dog i forgot to mention that me and my grandma we went to walk my dog at the park we walked for an hour and two minutes according to my apple watch so yeah your girl she trying to be on her zoom with the way laws trying to be on my zoom with school like i'm getting back to the academic era of me so yeah um, I know tomorrow, I keep saying I'm going to get off of here and I keep talking. When can I shut up? <laughs> I know tomorrow morning, um, my nurse's student friend, the guy that I was telling y'all about, and my other um, friend who's now a nursing student like me, we're in the same cohort. We're going to be on a Zoom. My bad, y'all. My grandmother had came down. She was asking me something. What I was saying was, long story short, uh, let me get, get to the chase because we've been talking for a good three minutes. I was saying uh, real quick that uh, me and two um, nursing students going to be on Google Meet. One is in my cohort with me, and the other one is the guy that I've been telling y'all that's been helping me with pathology. So we're supposed to be on Google Meet at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, Saturday, uh, so we can um go over pathology together and then he's just gonna give us some more insights and tips on how we can better prepare for our first semester so so it can be like a smooth transition because you know we we fresh out of pre-nursing so we got to get our mindsets prepared and for the professional side of nursing so yeah that's pretty much it y'all just couldn't end this day without sharing y'all you know me being on campus, so nice to see everybody again, hearing everybody's summer. So now we all ready to put our heads in these books and get it done. Because it's about to be a, well, I wouldn't say a long two years, but it's going to go by fast. I feel like it is. It's really going to go by fast. So I'm just trying to cherish all the moments, all the hardships, good ships, all of that, and make it memorable. But yeah, let me go get me something to eat because my stomach keep growling. Y'all see Rocco right there? Y'all see him? Rocco. Y'all see him. <laughs> Good morning vlog. It is the next day, August 19th. It is currently 7.54 a.m. I've been up since five, but I was pretty much laying down, scrolling on my phone. But um, I finally got out the bed, like around, hmm, I'll say 6.30. Got up, let Rocco use the bathroom. Then I made me some breakfast, which is my usual the mini pancakes, four turkey sausage links, and a hash brown. And it was good. And then I had a side of the, um, <clears throat> and then I had a side of the Starbucks caramel macchiato, um, the one that's already made in the grocery store. Poured that over ice in my, in my tumbler here. I got this from Walmart maybe like a year or two ago. It's so cute. It turns purple. I don't know if y'all can really see it. It turns purple when you, um, put something uh, cold. It turns purple when you put something cold in it. And it kind of low-key go with my glasses a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I'm just, um, getting ready to review the terms before I get on this study session with my classmates at now on Google Meet. Let me show y'all real quick of the terms that we're gonna go over. First things first, please do not mind my computer screen. I am going to wipe it down in a few minutes. Um, some of these are scratches. I don't know why because it was not like this before. But anyway, these are some of the terms that we're going to be going over um, today in our study session. The different anemias, um, purpose of vitamin K, oxygen blood, um, iron deficiency, erythroprotein. You know, some of this stuff is honestly familiar from anatomy. And I learned a little bit about it too in microbiology on um, that semester in the spring, like influenza, asthma, like some of the stuff. It wasn't mentioned a whole lot, but it was brought up. And then some of these terms I never heard of. I mean, quite naturally, I know CPOD, everybody should know that, but it's some other um, terms. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. It was some other terms too that I didn't really know who I heard about. So this chapter's seemed interesting to learn about. So. I'm about to go on 
Google and use the textbook to define them, get some examples so I can have an idea of what the words mean when he questions, when he questions me on the uh, Google Meet, just to have some familiarity of what's going to be covered. And that's it. So. So I'll probably check back in with y'all after my study session because after that I'm gonna um, review the material probably for about two to three hours and then I'll go walk my dog. And then I do have some cleaning I need to do today that I meant to do yesterday, but I didn't know honestly I was gonna be out the house that long like I was. So I'm planning to do that today, do some cleaning, organize my room. Then I'm gonna finally put my press on nails on that Bill was trying to do with y'all. I know, I know, I know. It's just, it's been a lot going on, honestly, with this school stuff. So it's already been taking up my time and I haven't even started yet. I start officially on Monday. So what, two days, one or two days from now. Yeah, so let me stop talking because it's almost nine o'clock. Well, not almost, it's 7.58 and we're supposed to meet at nine. So let me get to Write these terms down and I'll check back in with y'all.